What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In today's daily video guide I will be showing you guys how to get the unique one-handed dagger of Merun's Razor, one of the coolest looking weapons in Skyrim that has the potential to instantly kill almost anything in the game, like a dragon, giant or the ebony warrior. It is of course a Daedric artifact that you need for the Oblivion Walker achievement or trophy. And if you guys want to get all the other Daedric artifacts, make sure that you check out my full location playlist to find them all down below in the description. Or you can just subscribe to the channel so you can come back here and find them. But Merun's Razor is actually split into several pieces that are scattered across all of Tamriel. There are two ways to start this quest to get the dagger guys. The first way is when you reach level 20. You'll be approached by a courier who will hand you a letter, a museum pamphlet. And if we read this, it says, Silius Vesius presents the Museum of the Mythic Dawn, a history of the cult that toppled the Septum dynasty. Inside his very own home in the great capital of the Pale, Dawnstar free and open to all citizens of Skyrim. The second way to start the quest guys is just to go straight over to the location that the museum pamphlet tells us to go, which is here in Dawnstar, located in the north of Skyrim, here on the map. But you still need to be level 20 to start this quest guys. And if you're not level 20 yet, don't worry, just follow one of my leveling guides down below in the description. It doesn't take you long at all to reach level 20. And once you arrive at Dawnstar, his house is pretty easy to spot. It's the one at the end opposite the boat with the Mythic Dawn red flags on it. So you can see him standing outside there, and we're just going to run over and go and speak to him now. Your ancestors wouldn't want this, Silas. Why should I hide from it? This is my family's legacy. It's the past. Dead oaths on dead lips. Let it stay there. The museum is opening, Medina. I beg you, don't go into Silas's museum. Who is Silas? What is this museum? Silas comes from one of the oldest families in Dawnstar. They have a complicated history. Several of his ancestors belong to the Mythic Dawn, the cult that almost destroyed Tamriel. His family's involvement was only found out well after the crisis had died down, but it still ruined their reputation. They were outcasts. And now Silas is back, and this museum to the mythic dawn is his way of trying to rebuild his family's pride. It's misguided. So, what's the mythic dawn? Who are they? Not a student of history, I see. It's for the best. They're a group that should be forgotten. The only thing you need to know is that they almost destroyed the world, and they were stopped a long time ago. If you played Oblivion, you will that know who they are, but um, you don't need to speak to her, we need to speak to Silas. And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Museum of the Mythic Dawn? Yes, my collection of artifacts from a group that toppled an empire. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Indeed, sounds good. Let's talk inside. So we're going to follow him into the museum and we've started the quest now, the pieces of the past. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet. Ah, yes. That scabbard. Notice the insignia? An oblivion gate. A key symbol of Merun's Dagon, the patron Daedra of the Mythic Dawn. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died that they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's side. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. Did you have any questions about the museum? Or would you rather talk business? So let's talk about this job you want done. A little history first, 
After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group. And they're right here, in Skyrim. So you want me to get these fragments? At least two of the owners, Gonzol and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen, I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. Hmm, okay. So you can ask him about other information about the Razor. If you're not interested in the backstory though, I suggest you just skip past this conversation. So I want to know more about the Razor. The Razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. The Mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his razor would be invaluable to my collection. Indeed. So, why did you open this museum in the first place? It's no secret that my family were once members of the Mythic Dawn. One of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate Uriel Septim himself. We hid from our past for years, became tradesmen, people of coin and influence. But I realized that the Mythic Dawn's importance, our importance, to history cannot be denied. I'll see everyone in Tamriel remember that for a moment, we held the fate of the world in our hands, for good or ill. So, what is this Mythic Dawn cult about? They were worshippers of Merun's Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. The Mythic Dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs, triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult, I've gathered in my museum. Who is Mahirius Dagon? Ah, an excellent question. Merun's Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change, Destruction, and Ambition. Dagon's mythic dawn cult killed the Septim Dynasty and opened the Oblivion Gates into Tamriel. They called it the Oblivion Crisis. Indeed. Okay, so now we Good have all that information, we can actually go out and oh. find the Fragments guys. And these are scattered across Skyrim, as he, as he mentioned in that conversation. So the first one, and the easiest one to get, is in Morthal, which is just here on the map, guys, and we can very easily get over here. If you haven't visited the location before, just take the carriage outside of Whiterun to it. So once you arrive in Morthal, you're going to want to run down through the main true. town, just outside the city, because that's where the guy we are looking for lives. Do it's very like easy it? to get this piece. It's probably one of the easiest pieces to grab, so I thought I'd do this one first. So here's Jorgen. Unless it's about the mill, I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. So I'm looking for the pieces of, of Mayrune's razor. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Really? Silas Versus says otherwise. I have heard of him. My father had suspicions about his connection to the mythic dawn. I guess they were true. I don't need this. My family wasted eight generations keeping that razor safe from a dead cult. As far as I care, I can stay locked in my house. So we have two options. We can either intimidate him, persuade him, or just go into his house and literally steal the dagger for ourselves. So we're just going to try the persuade option first. I don't care that my ancestors do. You can't have it. So now we're going to intimidate him? Easy. Here. These are the keys. The hilt is in a chest in my house. Just don't hurt him. All right. The mill is my responsibility. So now we just need to go in his house and actually get the part of the dagger we need. And he said it was in the chest, so here's the chest. Let's open that. We've got the key now, so we don't need to lockpick it. There you go, the hilt of the dagger. How awesome does that look, man? So let's take that, and now we need to go and find the next part. So the next place, that's probably the easiest place to go, guys, is directly west from Morthal, all the way near Markov. So Markov is just here. And then over here, we have Dead Crane Rock. 
and at the top that we will find a hag raven that we need to kill to get the actual razor. The best pot thing to do if you've just come to this location is climb up the mountains on the side here and you can literally just walk across to this area. So as you can see guys we're now at the location and that's the bridge over there and I've just walked up this mountain which is very easy to get up. And we're going to continue across here. I'm literally just showing you the fastest way of getting this razor, guys. You can go through the actual location itself. And if you guys want a walkthrough on each of the locations in this video, just check out the links in the description below for a full guide on each one. So we're just hopping along, along the uh, rocks at the edge here. And you should be able to hop along right to the end. And guys, if you haven't already, please make sure you smash that subscribe button because I make daily Skyrim videos on this channel that you will not want to miss. And then we can go up the stairs and we're right next to the top area now. We've just got to go in this last room and we've literally skipped half of the dungeon here. So let's head up the stairs. There are a few chests and things to lockpick, but you don't need to do that if you don't want to. I am playing this on legendary difficulty. I've just got some daggers that are kind of like... Uh, do a lot of damage, so I'm one hit killing everything, really. So if we come up this spiral staircase here, guys, you'll see a dining room on the right. And then we're going to go round this path here, and we'll find a lever that we can activate. Should be in this room just here. And that's going to open that gate for us. But there is actually a really good book here called A Game at Dinner. And I recommend reading that book, because it is quite an interesting one. It's a little bit like the if you've ever played Oblivion. It's like the Dark Brotherhood mission where you have to kill everyone in when you're locked in a house at a party. So we're just going to continue on up these stairs now and we can get out at the very top of this sort of area. So let's go out the top here and we should be able to find a Hag Raven. Here she is. This is the Hag Ra Raven. Her name is Jerissa. She's pretty damn angry and ugly. So I'm just going to absolutely wreck her slap around the face this bitch has never been slapped around the face in a million years i think she needed it doing to her and she has the pommel stone of merun's razor so we're going to take this right now it literally looks like somebody's eyeball or something also make sure you grab that human flesh as well you don't want to miss out on that sweet goodness and there's also an unusual gem here so make sure you grab this if it interests you also take this key as well because it's useful if you come back to the location and also, guys, you can also grab this shout while you're here. You might as well. Fear, Dismay, which is actually a pretty good shout. Not very good for this character. And there's also a boss chest here, so make sure you grab this as well, guys. So now, guys, we're going to go directly southeast from Dead Crone Rock. All the way across Skyrim again. Like, it's literally in the three corners of Skyrim almost. And if you come over to Cracked Tusk Keep over here near Falkreath, this is where you're going to find the last part of the dagger. So here we are, it's quite a small location. So what you can do is literally just run through everyone into the main keep itself. And now we're just going to want to fight our way to the top of this area, which is pretty easy to do. There are just some leveled bandits in here. The only one you're going to have difficulty with is the bandit chief that you'll find in this room just here. Hello there! He's an orc, so he's pretty damn angry, but he's going to get wrecked because he doesn't know how to block. 200 gold, he's also got Nordic carved armor. But the most important thing that we want, guys, is his key to the vaults of this location. We're also going to get this boss chest as well, though. So let's grab that and then we can go and actually retrieve the uh, the part of the razor that we require. So we're just going to come down the stairs here into the basement and now we have his key. We should be able to unlock this really easy. There we go and we push this button. Like it's a pretty amazing vault, it's almost like a Dweamer construction there. So let's go and into the cracked tusk vaults be very hard to get in other bit bloody hell Vil because you scared the crap out of me man look at this place it's crazy there's lots of armor there's an ebony shield in there it's pretty awesome isn't it okay so we just got to pull this lever here make sure you also grab this chest and you find some more stuff in there and then there's another lever here to pull and that's going to open the next one and then be careful guys because there's lots of trip mines here and they're going to set off loads of different traps. So as you walk along, just activate them so you don't get killed by them. I 
and here we go guys the shard of maroon's razor how awesome so now we've got oh bloody hell i forgot about that one sorry <laughs> you can also run down the back here to get out if you like or get in and now we're just going to run outside of this location vilkas for goodness Careful. sake vilkas you're stopping me from doing anything again so once you're outside guys we've now got all the free pieces and now we can go back to Dawnstar, to the museum, to talk to Silas again. What is it? Do you have one of the razor fragments? I have all of the pieces of the razor! <laughs> you can give it to him separately if you like. Look at them. The legendary sharpness of a Daedric weapon. Marvelous. And he tells you a little bit about- no payment for the shards. We just need the hilt and the pommel now. Okay, so here's the pommel. Our master craftsmen are nothing compared to the perfection of the Daedra. Look how it shines. Here's your gold, as promised. There's only the hilt left to collect. Exciting, isn't it? He gives you 1,200 gold depending on your level for each piece. So, lastly, the hilt, as promised. Did you try the grip? Isn't it eerie how it seems to mold itself into your hand? Here's your gold. Finally. All the pieces of Merun's razor are in my hands. It's time I let you in on something. There's a fourth piece, that scabbard in the display case, built to house the razor, and there's more. I know how to put all the pieces together. We just need to take them to Dagon's shrine and contact the Lord of Change directly. This sounds like a terrible idea. You actually think Dagon will repair the razor? Ever since I was a boy, I felt this strange sense of destiny surrounding the Mythic Dawn cult. And now I know what it is. Don't you see? Fate has led you to me and to the pieces. Dagon has to answer our call. We're so close. I'll meet you at the shrine. So now we must join him at the shrine. There he goes, running off. So this is the last part of the quest. And to find his shrine, just come southwest and you can find his shrine at the top of this mountain just here can't actually get it to fast travel because the icon is so bloody big so you can see him at the top of the mountain there i couldn't actually fast travel to the location because because it was blocked by the quest marker so let's just run up here and find the shrine good you're here i'll place the pieces on the altar and dagon should speak to us meroon's dagon the Lord of Change. We have brought your razor to you. Thank you. Please, bring the blade's full glory to Tamriel again. It's not working. Why don't you give it a try? Just put your hands on the altar. You, mortal. You are worthy of speaking to. You have claimed the pieces of my razor. It has been an amusing game to witness. But Dagon does not declare a winner while there is a pawn on the board. Kill Silas. He and his family have served their purpose. He helped me find the pizzas. He deserves to live. Only Dagon can declare if a pawn is worth keeping. I have spoken. <laughs> Kill him. Take your rightful place as my champion, or I will crush you. So you can either kill him, or you can... Wait, wait! Don't kill me! There's another way. I can take the pieces back to my museum, seal them in a display case. You get a generous amount of gold, I get to complete my collection, and nobody has to die. So you can choose the gold, or you can choose to kill him choose to kill him if you choose the gold you will never get the razor so obviously we're going to want to kill him because dagon has spoken Fine. i'm not dying without a fight come at me bro bad idea i'm just let vilkas fucking wreck him oh vilkas you missed go on i thought he wasn't dying without a fight i'll kill him for you vilkas boom oh my days get wrecked son it was almost like a chest bumped him off the cliff oh that looks so cool and you can get the Mystic Dawn Road as well, they look pretty cool. Just strip his body naked on the mountainside. Let's go and speak to Dagon again. This bit's pretty awesome as well. Here we go. Talk to 
I am pleased, mortal. I will give you my razor. Use it to wreak havoc on Tamriel. Thank you, Lord Dagon. You have been a worthy tool. Fill the world with destruction in my name. Place your hands on my altar one last time, and you will witness the power of Merun's Dagon for yourself. Okay, reforge. Use the altar. Oh, this is so awesome. How sick is that? And you can claim the dagger for yourself. Before you go, mortal, one final challenge. Then he summons some Daedra, and we can get out the weapon now for ourselves. See if we can get that one heal kill effect to prop. Oh, there you go. Savage. Oh my god, just beheaded the Daedra. That was sick. And they always have enchanted weapons as well, which is fantastic. So now let's go inside this shrine after you get the key and kill the last Daedra. Oh, bloody hell, hello. Oh, Vilk has killed him for me. So once again, guys, this glass mace is also enchanted and we can take his heart as well. So let's go into the shrine now and see what we find within. Some more Daedra. Take them all out. Get Rex up. Oh, Vilkas, you absolute savage. More Daedra hearts. Make sure you also loot this boss chest as well, guys. Some useful stuff in there. And there's also an enchanted helmet here, which will be randomly enchanted. An enchanting skill book. And another chest just here. And if we look on the other side, we have another chest. And there's also lots of gold bars of ebony ingots. And guys, you'll find that the two Daedra at this location, inside the shrine, always respawn every one in-game week. So it's an excellent place to get okay. two guaranteed Daedric hearts, and you can also re-loot the whole place of all of its treasure each week as well. So it's a good place to come back to. And guys, I also want to show you something really funny. But first, I'm going to talk about this unique weapon, Merun's Razor, and how to get the most damage out of it. So the dagger has a base damage of 11, and that's only one less than the Dragonbone Dagger, which has the highest base damage in the game. But let's be honest, the Razor looks so much better. And the good thing about this high base damage is that if you get the Assassin's Blade perk in the, in the sneak skill tree, it will allow you to have a sneak attack damage of 165, and usually more depending on your one-handed skill. For example, if you have 5 points in the Armsman perk found in the one-handed skill tree, it will double your damage with one-handed weapons, meaning that you can get sneak attacks with the Razor that do over 300 damage. So sneak attack with this weapon will already wreck most things in the game. But now let's take a look at the enchantment on this blade, because it is very unique. It reads, hits have a small chance to instantly kill, and the enchantment is also unlimited, so it's never going to run out. But rather sadly, this small chance thing, what it means when it says it has a small chance to instantly kill somebody, it only has a 1.98% chance. So basically guys, each attack that you do on any enemy will have a 2% chance to instantly kill it. But when this effect does proc, it is pretty damn awesome. Like being able to instantly kill a dragon or a giant is pretty sick. It even works on the ebony warrior as well, as you can see in the video. But that said, however, we can actually still improve the base damage of this weapon at a grindstone using an ebony ingot and also having the ebony smithing perk located in the smithing skill tree. And if you guys follow my guide in the description, it will show you how to buff your smithing level to make the dagger do a insane insane amount of damage like you can see in the video. I just wanted to show you that you can do this guys because it's a Daedric artifact after all so it should be powerful in my opinion. But now guys I just want to show you something I think is pretty funny. So after you've completed the pieces of the past quest you can go back to the museum in Dawnstar. Just casually stroll in like the badass you are and then open the display case here on the left. And then we're just going to get out our flame spout and literally just barbecue this sacred artifact of oblivion. 
the scroll will then turn into a bucket. And I've no idea why this happens, but I just thought it was hilarious and I wanted to show you guys. But for more daily unique weapon guides, make sure you smash that subscribe button, guys. And there's been a bug going on on YouTube right now, so if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and the links for that are in the description below, because I always post my guides on social media whenever I have a new one out. So that's a good way to make sure you don't miss it in your subscriber feed. Don't forget that you can receive text and or email notifications from my channel every time I release a new video. Underneath the video, just hit subscribe and then hit the bell next to it. You will now get notified as soon as I release a new video. Welcome to the ESO squad, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.